then we go up to Shinjuku for camera stuff and lunch, and Ooh. then we go to Koenji for thrifting. Oh, I like I like that. I like the sound of that. I like that. Okay. We're driving down the boulevard, cruising with the windows down, feeling like we run this town. Your song is on the radio, the one you always like, the one that always gets you psyched. We've been drinking all the cheap wine all night. On my way to get a tattoo, I found her off of Instagram, and usually when I travel, I'll like gather a bunch of artists I like and then try to get a tattoo from them so it's like a little collection of my favorite artists on my arms. Very excited I'm getting a couple. I'm, we're almost there. Oh, Actually running a little <gasps> dun, dun, dun. We got some crazy instructions on how to find this place. Another screenshot of a text. Um, <laughs> we're gonna look for that door. Yeah. We have look to look for a door that, says that has beautiful Ponga? crafts on it. We were being dramatic. It wasn't even that hard. Yeah, that was. The <laughs> we found it. Don't really have a reason why, but I don't even have to try. <laughs> this is it's George. looks like eating the octopus cracker across the street. It is time to go stationary shopping. Yes! Um, <laughs> yes! We have like the list of everything and we're gonna hit Loft, I think, Sakaido, and then maybe the Itoya and Ginza if we have the chance. Shout out Itoya and Ginza. Shout out, apparently it's shout like out. 10 floors. Are you looking for anything, Janice? I'm looking for notebooks. I want like a little drawing pad and I'm looking for people to not take pictures right in front of my face. <laughs> oh. I'm looking for paints. Yeah. We're on our way to the stationery stores now. This is our mid pick me up yeah, snack. Just... We got gummy bears. Yeah. All right, here, here's your gummy. Thank you. Very squishy. The yeah. next departure from oh, train bound for Shinjuku. Very pretty. Yummy. <laughs> we made it. Oh, Wait, this is Sakaido. Well, this is Sakaido well, 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 in Shinjuku. Yes. So I'm very excited. Is it first? So I will shortly follow. <laughs> I will go next. Okay, you gotta ask yourself the question, is it a want or a need? Oh, what is this? What is this? Is that a want or a need? It's a need. <laughs> in, the, in the bucket. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Juice, Juice paint? paint? Juice paint. Juice paint. I think these are like housekeeping notebooks.
So you live in the dream You should see it through someone else's side Another cipher to break While the grass grows underneath my feet Been running out of time for so long Thank you to the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives with thousands of classes taught by professional artists, designers, and filmmakers. Maybe you've dabbled in Skillshare in the past, but you just never advanced your skills further. This year, make it a goal to take your learning to the next level with their new learning paths. These are curated class collections made for you to master a specific skill. A few learning paths that I think might interest you guys are your creative business, build it, brand it, launch it, and discover the art and science of drawing. There are also tons of classes on gouache painting if you see that I'm using gouache and you're interested in learning how to use it. So these paths contain classes from a variety of teachers that will really help you take your skills from beginner to advanced. If any of this seems interesting to you, the first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. Happy learning. Okay, let's put this back where it belongs, shall we? <sighs> Hello, are you joining me? I feel like it's been so long since I talked to the camera. I just came back from a two week trip in Japan. So this is my first time back in the studio in a while. I bought a lot of new art supplies. Let's do a little haul. Also, my apologies. I know it probably doesn't matter that much, but I'm getting over a cold. I've been sick for like the past two months and it has not been fun. Um, so I'm a little bit nasally. I need to organize what is in this bag because this bag just has everything I bought in Japan. I went with a couple of my friends. It was honestly such a fun trip. We went from Tokyo to Kyoto to Osaka back to Tokyo. Then a couple of us went to Hakuba to visit one of my friends I haven't seen in seven years. And that was such a fun time. I've been going back and forth on whether I wanna vlog and share more of my personal life slash like life as an illustrator, or if I wanna do more like painting videos, ASMR videos, stuff like that. Probably will end up doing a mix of stuff and just do what I feel like doing. I think that is the best way for me not to get burnt out. Um, but again, I would love to know what you guys want to see from me. I have a bunch of stuff from the Miffy store I want to give my friends. If you, if you are Mariah, don't watch this video until I have given you your present. Look how cute this is. It's like a Miffy charcuterie board. So cute. And she's going to love it. She loves cooking. So I think she's going to like that a lot. Um, A little bit of a life update. I am moving into my own apartment in about two weeks and it's gonna be my first time living alone. I'm very excited to like have my own space and kitchen and it's gonna be great. I think it would definitely be fun to show you guys parts of it. But I got these little Miffy, got the, that was so loud. I got these little Miffy chopstick holders. They're, you're gonna see a theme here with a lot of Miffy stuff. I got this Yoshimoto Nara art book. Um, it's in Japanese, but I figured this one, um, well, it's mostly pictures, but the parts where there are Japanese, um, but I could easily use Google Translate for it. And then I also got this book, which I think I might give away as a gift. I'm not really sure what the concept is because there's like, there's, um, Dick Bruna's art, and then there's also like Japanese art. So my theory is that it's like how that has inspired the art of Miffy. That's my guess. One of the biggest art brands in Japan is Holbein, and I use their gouache, I use their watercolor, and in Japan it is so, so much cheaper to buy them than in the US because I guess there's like import fees to bring them over here. So a tube can run to be like seven to nine dollars and over there 
It's like $3 a tube, which is so awesome. Last year when I was in Vietnam, I stocked up because it was also $3 a tube there. And I was like, when in Japan, I might as well get them while they're technically like 50% off. Um, I got this Holbein sketch pad. Uh, the paper is very nice. And I thought I would use this as like a sketchbook. We were drawing each other on the bullet train. And this one's quite scary. I really love the quality of paper in Japan. They know how to do paper. So I grabbed this size. Um, so these are 50 sheets. This is quality drawing paper for charcoal, chalk, and pencil studies or sketches. And then I got this drawing paper as well. And this one's also like a cream, really thin textured drawing paper. Um, mostly for pencils. I got these mini paint brushes. I love a nice round brush. These are also Holbein brushes. These will be great for traveling um, or just painting outdoors when I'm on the go. And then I got this brush pen. I have a brush pen in this brand. It's all in Japanese, so I don't know what the brand is. Um, but I love, love, love this brush pen. Let's see what color it is. Oh, I think it's black. <laughs> I thought because it was... Yep, it's black. I thought because the cap was a gray color, it would be like a gray or white or something. But no, it's black. I picked up this mechanical pencil from Pentel. And I've never seen a thick mechanical pencil like this. I think it'll be great for drawing and sketching. So I picked up the HB lead and then I also picked up a 2B lead for it. I want to show you first. He, 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 he. I'll show you these first. I got some Holbein oil pastel. I got two greens, a white, a black, and a red. You know, I had to get some gouache. I love Holbein's acrylic gouache or acrylic gouache. It just is beautiful. I love painting with it so much. Of course, I grabbed a big white. This is titanium white. And then I also grabbed a super opaque white. I have never seen the super opaque white and super opaque black. I'm really interested to see how they stack up against regular white and regular black. And then I just got a bunch of colors that I don't have or colors that I know I use a lot. So I always use yellow ochre. I always use olive. I got a couple pinks. I got opera and cosmos pink. I got pure red. Orange, just orange. I'm surprised I didn't have that one already. And I guess we'll go rainbow order. I got mustard and gold. So this is like a metallic gold. And I also got metallic white. Fun, fun, fun. And then for blues and greens, I got peacock blue, deep green, sap green, and misty green, which are greens that I do not own yet. And I'm curious to see what they look like. And then last but not least, I got Blue Violet. So Holbein has this gouache series and then they have a professional gouache series. So <laughs> I bought a set and I checked online. This retails in the US for, I think it was like over a hundred something dollars, almost $200. I got this for I think it comes out to be around 60 USD, which that is more than half off, um, which I thought was insane. Um, so this is the 24 color set. I am so, so excited to use these. I'm assuming this might be watercolor gouache instead of acrylic gouache, um, but we'll see. We'll test them out. And I think, I think I'm gonna like this thing. And then the last art supply I got, um, we were at this bookstore and then I just saw these Sakura crayons and I was like, that is so freaking cute. Like the packaging really sold me. The yellow, I don't currently have any crayons. So I figured when in Tokyo, 
I'm gonna get some crayons. This is a 16 crayon set. Ooh. Wow, Ooh, that flew away. Look at the little dog on the packaging. That is so cute. Okay, I have the paper in front of me, so let's just try one of them out. Let's do red. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Great texture. These are really nice and smooth. Um, it's almost like comparable to a pastel, I would say. I think the size is like a pastel as well. Very creamy. Oh, wow. <gasps> Ooh, they blend nicely together. I love this. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, so excited to use all this stuff.